It's one of the most confusing things in the world of cars. Whether it's horsepower versus wheel horsepower, gross BHP versus net BHP, there's always someone getting it wrong. So here's an easy breakdown. There are three main types we class it as. Horsepower, brake horsepower, and wheel horsepower. Horsepower, or indicated horsepower, is simply a theoretical calculation of the maximum amount of work your engine can do without anything like friction affecting it. A device called an engine indicator measures the theoretical power by creating a plot between the pressure and volume curves inside the cylinders. You'll very often see car manufacturers refer to their cars in horsepower as it's the highest number they can achieve. Brake horsepower is the actual power measured at the crankshaft, including the losses caused by engine friction, but before any losses of the drivetrain and gearbox. Now this is where a lot of confusion comes in, because within BHP, there's two ways it can be measured, via gross BHP or via net BHP. Gross BHP measures power at the flywheel but with no engine ancillaries connected, while net BHP takes those parasitic parts into account. If you were to go back to America 50 years ago, engines were often tested and advertised in gross BHP, making figures much higher than the rest of the world. So to correct this, in 1972, the SAE net standard was set to make sure that all engines were measured in net BHP with the approximate accessories fitted that will be equipped in production. As you can guess then, effective horsepower, commonly called wheel horsepower, is measured at the wheels, taking into account all engine and drivetrain losses along the way. This is usually done by running the car on a dynamometer or rolling road. So now you know what you're looking at between horsepower, brake horsepower and wheel horsepower.